subtropical storm Wanda has been wandering around in the North Central Atlantic Ocean as a subtropical cyclone. Currently, it is located at 36.3 degrees north, 43.2 degrees west on this November 1st at midnight GMT. Currently, right now at midnight GMT, according to the National Hurricane Center, it has winds of 50 miles per hour, a pressure of 990 millibars, moving due west at 1 mile per hour, and we do not have a CDPS at this moment because it will not be impacting land. And here currently is where the storm is located. It is due south of Greenland, and you can really see how lopsided the wind field is. It expanding 120 miles away from the center at its northwestern quadrant and only 30 from its southeastern quadrant. And currently in distance of miles from Laggins, it is 612 nautical miles. St. John's, it is 798 nautical miles. Ponta Delgada, it is 875 nautical miles. Boston, 1317. And New York City, 1448. We do not have any warnings or watches at this time, and that is because this is yet again out at sea, currently doing nothing as in terms of land impacts, and that is expected to stay the case as it stays a tropical cyclone. Currently, this is where it is right now, the NHC and SATCON currently going with 50 miles per hour in regards to how strong this system is in terms of its winds. ADT a bit further up, going with 55 miles per hour. This is its current track right now. You can see how it's stalling right there. It is expected to stall relatively within the same location, and that's because it is currently stuck in between two high-pressure systems, a cold front trying to push it northeast into those high-pressure systems, and a low-pressure centered over Maine and Canada. This is keeping this storm in a very, very small area, and as a result, that's going to be what's impacting it and why it's moving so slowly. It's also going to be undergoing tropical transition, so more likely than not, it will become fully tropical at some point in its life. Sea surface temperature is not so hot right now. We're seeing it at about 24, 25 degrees Celsius where it is right now. Especially as it goes further into its lifespan, we could see it go down into the teens. And of course, by that point, it most likely will be going into extra tropical transition. As you can tell, it is also supported the stalling period by the wind model for the H Wharf. You can see it's just mainly one location. Rainfall also supporting this to an extent as it stays over the cooler waters of the North Central Atlantic. And you can see its intensity most likely going to stay the same as it enters tropical transition and then it goes into extra tropical transition around the 5th of November. Layer is going to be fluctuating from being really high, especially on the 1st and 2nd, to going back to being low, and then it's going to start increasing around the 4th and 5th. And you can see the model consistency with this has been relatively strong for the first couple of days, have it stalling where it is right now before it starts to deviate towards the end of its current path. Here's satellite imagery of Wanda right now. It is a very interesting storm, especially whenever you look at how it has come to be. Um, it started originally as a nor'easter in that impacted the northeastern United States, and it had a relatively low chance of formation, and here it is right now, a named subtropical cyclone in the mid, or in the north central Atlantic. Currently, right now, it will be interesting to see what the storm does, and of course, more likely than not, it'll probably just be out there in the sea, not really doing much, as it heads towards the north and enters extra tropical transition.